Okay, so this is a loaded question, so we're going to have to break this thing down piece by piece. But the first thing I'll say was always consult with your specialist, but let's dive into this thing. So this brings this automatically brings me to the question of why would things I would ask you is what is the quality of your diet? What is the quality of your heart in general? What cause what is exactly causing these heart attacks? The first thing that pops up in my mind is atherosclerosis. And for all of you that don't know what that is, you have a whole bunch of plaque buildup, which restricts the blood flow within the body. One of the biggest things that we need to focus on, not even if you don't struggle with heart attacks, people in general, is called vasodilation. So we're talking about making sure that you're not smoking, making sure that you're eating according to your hypertension to where you can get rid of your hypertension. Because what exactly is hypertension? The arteries and the vessels are too stiff to dilate and let the blood flow through and or they're clogged. Some people even have diabetes that ties into that. And I can go on and on and on about that, but let's talk about you. Let's talk about how we're going to rebuild the heart. So the first thing I'm going to mention is beta carotene. It's the precursor of vitamin A. It increases defense against infection, highly antioxidant, and when you couple it with vitamin C and E, it battles most things. Up next, we have what's called Hawthorn Berry. Hawthorn has everything to do with restructuring your heart and helping with circulation throughout the body. We have heart degeneration in elderly, hearts that has given extra beats, people that have nervous hearts, people that have rheumatic heart, and people that have just simple heart weakness. Hawthorne is one of the universal herbs that we can use that we know specifically benefits the heart. Now, the next herb I'm going to suggest before we get into diet is cayenne. I don't know if you've seen my videos before, but cayenne pepper, I live and die by it. Helps with your metabolism. Increases vasodilation. It actually plugs up and seal up any type of internal bleeding that you have as well. And the list of the benefits goes on and on and on. You want to get a more detailed design of it, there's a book called Back to Eden. They dedicated pages to this one herb. And now that we've gotten it out of the way, let's talk about your diet because that's what's really important. So let's start off by replacing the animal fats with vegetable oils. Why? Because they're unsaturated fatty acids. In my personal opinion, fruits are the detoxifiers and vegetables are the builders. So you need to go on an 80-20 diet. I'm not saying you have to completely get rid of meat. But what I am saying is 80% of your diet should be fruits and or vegetables. Now the other 20%, I would hope that you do well by, you know, Pull more towards fish, pull more towards the leaner meats, the less fatty meats. And we cannot forget to juice. It is, it is, and bro, you have to juice. You have to drink some form of cold pressed fruit juice every single day. I don't care if it's a little shot glass. I don't care if it's like 10, 16, 32 ounces. You need to drink it daily. But to be more specifically, especially while they're in season, a lot of watermelon, a lot of berries, these things are naturally astringent and hydrative to your body. And not only on a macro level, it's on a cellular level as well. Now, I know this video is getting a little long, but please bear with me. I got a little bit more information I have to give you. Next, you have to sweat and exercise. It's going to be my last thing. You have to sweat and you have to exercise. It's very important that you sweat because the skin is considered, what, the third kidney. So a lot of the things that the body can't process out on its own, it's really good to sweat. A lot of people try to debunk it and say, oh, there's no um, detoxification that comes from sweating. There's no benefit other than cooling the body that comes from sweat. Crap. That's all crap. Get outside. And I'm not saying go do a thousand push-ups, run a thousand miles, do what you can, but you have to be act getting active. You have to be active. Look at the people that live in like China and Japan and stuff like that. They do not live sedentary lives and they they oftentimes live over a hundred years old and not just a regular hundred years old. They can move, they can function. And I also have put all of this information and more into my handbook. Click the link in my bio. You can go check it out. It has a lot of remedies. It has quick and essential answers that you'll need if you don't feel like diving into X, Y, and Z. It tells you foods that's beneficial. It tells you things to reject and to avoid as well. Now, lastly, this is a rule of mine. I don't leave you with just natural information. Let's get some spiritual information. Let's go ahead to these scriptures. And it's a short and very simple one. Jeremiah 30 and 17. But I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. Nothing to it but to do it. Put your faith behind your works. Put your newfound education behind your lifestyle and watch how your life transforms. But as always, God bless. I love you guys. Have a great day. I hope this helped you out, friend.